Good morning and welcome to Live in a Greenhouse on YouTube. If you're new here, this channel is about my journey to design, build, and then live in the first greenhouse enclosed tiny home in the United States. This week, high temperatures were in the 80s and I'm a heat wimp. So it was too hot to want to do much during the day until it cooled off in the evening. Still, I was able to make progress on the cabins and other punch list items by working each evening between dinner and dark. So if you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe so YouTube will show it to more viewers and come along today as I get the finished paint on the first cabin and try to keep the frogs out of the house. <laughs> cabin siding is quite weathered since it was last painted 30 years ago, so I'm sanding before the primer and paint. Got the high work done yesterday while this side was in shadow. Now to finish what I can reach from the ground. It's hot even in the shade, and this is boring work, so I'm happy to sit when I can. I started to paint this side the other night, but it was so hot that when the can of paint ran out, I decided to quit rather than open a new can. Then onto the fourth side. I've been looking at that sad brown finish for three and a half years, so it's still a surprise to see it painted and looking fresh. This old gold handle will come off to paint the door, but it won't go back on. This tinted primer is left over from the deck at the trailer that will provide a nice foundation for the door and trim paint. I'm really pleased with this color combination with bright green trim. Can't wait to also finish the second cabin. One of the small surprises of living inside a greenhouse is after a windstorm, but a light sweep or vacuum and the evidence is gone. Rainwater tanks are now at about 1,700 gallons each after cleaning the paintbrushes, irrigating the greenhouse, and washing the truck. Killing time midweek waiting to cool enough to paint, I installed this retractable baby gate as the first attempt to keep out the frogs and other critters. Powdery mildew has been spreading throughout the greenhouse, so I'm trying a course of hydrogen peroxide.
and time to apply fertilizer. This powder smells so bad that I have to close the house doors and windows for several hours afterward. Next, to figure out how to get rid of pests on the peach tree. On to the second coat on the door and trim. Trim done on all four sides. Adding to the to-do list, getting a vapor barrier under the cabin. Not looking forward to doing that. So excited to get the truck running again. After 10 months under the trees, there are a lot of pine needles. The windshield and wipers need washing, so I might as well take off the top layer of moss too.
And there you have it. Despite the heat, it was a productive week, culminating in finally loading up the last construction debris piles and crossing that off the to-do list. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And come back next time when I start on the second cabin.